What is going on, family? Cribs here. Dr. Pepper Jalapeno Jerky. It's time. Enjoy the intro. I'll see you in just a second. Okay, I'm back. Got all the meat laid out in front of me on the paper towels. Now I'm going to dab some of the uh, moisture off of the top. You don't have to do this if you don't want, but it's just a nice area to help it or a nice way to keep it from, to help it dry and start smoking. But you can see there's pieces of jalapeno on it, um, jalapeno seeds, a lot of pepper. It's changed the meat to a reddish color. It's really absorbed well. The reason that I went for a three-day soak or a marinade is because these pieces are pretty thick. Um, I thought it was just the best thing to do. So I'm just going to continue to dab these off, help them dry out a little bit more, get some of this moisture off of them, and then get, the, get them out on the smoker and start the smoking process. So that'll be the next video. I just wanted to show you uh, this little step right here because it's pretty important. Lay them out, see what you got, see how things look. Pick some of the stalks of the jalapenos, but I think I'll leave those on because that's going to add some flavor for when it actually dries to the meat. So I'll go get the smoker ready and I will be back in, a, in just a second, guys. Okay, I'm back out here on the back deck. It's going to get a little windy, I think, but I just wanted to show you what I do my process, my equipment. First of all, make sure the hopper is full. So it's full, temperature set to low, which is 180. Got my smoke tube up here to give it a little extra smoke. I'm, I'm rocking, uh, what is it, red oak, white oak, and uh, mahogany wood pellets. This is my Camp Chef jerky rack that I put in that fits perfectly. And then I got another row of jerky down on the bottom. Let me close this up so I don't let that smoke keep getting out. But that's the process. I'll probably be back in three hours um, just to check. And I'll probably come out here and check every hour just to, just to make sure nothing's getting cooked too much on the backside, on the hot spots, rotate where I need. But three hours, I'll come back and let you see how it's looking. But you can see where we're starting. I'll be back. All right. We're back. Three hours later. Let's see what we got going on here. It's really looking good. I swapped some stuff around that was in the middle, pulled it up top to get it some smoke. Let's get you some of these pieces. You can see. Uh, what a beautiful color that is. What a glaze is starting to set up on the outside. Man, these are just, some of them are about ready, but they're so thick. I'm going to let them ride for a couple of more hours. And we'll just go back and forth. But that's what it's looking like after three hours. So, got some more time to go. But that's the, that's the Dr. Jalapepper, Dr. Pepper Jalapeno Jerky after three hours. So I'm going to go ahead and probably finish this up. And then I'll show you the final result. Um, you just let it sit. You let it chill. Let it ride. Check it every hour. Make sure your pellets are always full. Make sure everything's good. Rotate when needed. You're going to have to really pay attention if you're doing this big of a batch of jerky. Um, but anyways, I guess I will see you when everything is ready to go with the final product inside. See you in a bit. All right, y'all. I'm back. Finished product. Um, I have to make a correction on what I said earlier. I told you earlier uh, in on the video that I used white oak, red oak, and mahogany. Mahogany ain't in this. It's hickory. Red oak, white oak, and, and hickory from Rectech themselves, their pellets. I've just, out of all of the ones I've used, they are the most flavorful um, and just 
for me, the desired way, the desired product to use on my smoker. Uh, just a great product. So shout out to Rectet. Um, and I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just love their products. Um, so we got done with this. It was about a total of six hours. I've already broke a piece in half for you so you could see. These are pretty thick. Real meaty, real smoky. Uh, you can see I still have a, a piece of the, the jalapeno on there. Deep, rich, smoky flavor. That smoke tube that I used added extra smoke to this, which I love. Um, you get the smokiness, you get a little bit of the sweetness, not much from the Dr. Pepper. Then comes the, the saltiness, um, and then the kick on the back of the throat from the jalapeno, which I love. That was what I was going for. If you like a thick piece of jerky, like most, most people that I know uh, around here at least, these are, it's not jerky, they're basically uh, steak pieces, uh, Dr. Pepper jalapeno steak pieces. I'll cut these up into bits, vacuum seal them. Um, if you're looking for a more of a traditional jerky, uh, this was a cut on a number four, I do believe. They're real thick. Go on a number two. That'll be perfect. Those will, That'll probably be the next recipe I use there. More of an opportunity for the marinade to absorb into the meat that way in a shorter time. This, like I said, it was 72 hours, three days that I had these. Uh, resting in a marinade in the refrigerator in a Ziploc bag, and they turned out amazing. I'm very happy with it. Um, and I guess that's all I need to say. Uh, wonderful product. I love making this jerky. Um, so if you have any questions, reach out. I also, on this batch, I use cured salt, uh, curing salt, which you can use or not use. It's uh, the ingredients in the recipe that I've got, it's 1.08 grams per pound of meat. So it's not much. And it can definitely overwhelm overwhelm a recipe that you're using it on. Um, so be very careful with that. The recipe that I'm going to have down below is not with curing salt. And it's for 20 pounds of meat. So just understand that you'll have to compensate the ingredients and just make it your own. But man, what a, what a fun journey. I I highly recommend you guys get out there if you have a smoker to try this recipe. Get out there and have fun because that's what it's all about. And and share share this this passion that you have with people that you know and that you love. Um, make them feel good. Go tell somebody you love them. Go tell somebody that you're proud of them. Go give forgiveness to somebody even though they may not have asked yet due to the fact that it lightens up your burdens. And then if you've done something, go ask somebody for forgiveness. It's all good. Uh, but with that, that's all I've got for you. I love you. Cribs is out.